What started out as a small event inside the Orient Township Public Library almost 40 years ago has grown into a massive competition that nurtures a student's love of reading. Owen TV's Joe Johnson covered this year's event and he seemed to enjoy it as much as the students. On the morning of Saturday, March 9th, 100 fifth graders from within the Lake Orion School District formed 22 teams to compete in the 39th annual Battle of the Books. Orion Township librarians announced a list of 11 books way back in November that students had to read prior to the event. Our goal is to variety. So we want to give them books in different genres. We, wanna, we want them to read books that they would never pick up off the shelf themselves. Um, and then they realize, oh wait, I do like these kind of books. So that's like the main goal is just to include such a variety that they've never decided to do on their own. On Saturday, the students arrived at Walden Middle School, most dressed in colorful costumes, to tackle 50 questions posed by the librarians. Each team had to respond with a title and the name of the author for a possible 100 points. You have kids who love sports, so this is kind of the, you know, kids who love reading, they can celebrate this way, parents can celebrate them. Um, they're all in costumes, they all have teams of three to five kids, and um, they just, you know, they, this is a way for them to really enjoy reading and not like read just for school, like reading for fun and having a good time doing it. Uh, we want them to walk away with a love of reading, honestly. Uh, that's, I think reading for fun is what we want to instill here, and I, I think that happens. Um, you know, just talking to a parent that was talking about how much fun their kid had reading all the books and, you know, memorizing as much as they could, how eager they were to participate. So, uh, you know, building readers that like to read for fun, future readers. Um, I saw a lot of our National Honor Society volunteers this year were former uh, fifth grade battle of the book participant so I think that just shows that you know uh, you instill that love of reading and learning and it continues through the upper grades. On Monday March 11th the teams were invited to Lake Orion High School for an award ceremony in the Performing Arts Center. Before announcing the top teams author Skylar Shrimp was introduced to the audience. A Chicago native Skylar is the author of Three Strikes Summer one of the books the participants were required to read. She said she wasn't aware of Battle of the Books prior to getting the invitation to speak at the event. I asked her to describe the experience. Um, it's very humbling and amazing because you know, like, like kids are different than adults, right? They're squirrely and they're moving around and they're excited and they're talking. You're like, oh my gosh, it got really uh, nervous to, to talk to all of them. Um, yeah, it got really nervous, <laughs> honestly, but really, well, it's the years of being on the stage, but um, it's really special. It's really magical. There was a moment where I was sitting in the front and I could hear people like whispering my name as they figured out where I was sitting. And I was like, this is so cool. And um, it's just really cool to see kids get excited about your book and, you know, the things they remember from your book. Everyone wants to talk about Davy, <laughs> you know, different parts of the book. And um, it's really, it's really kind of magical to get to interact with the kids reading your book. What was the, the message of your presentation today? Um, gosh, the message is that um, being a reader, loving books, writing books, it, it matters whether or not you become an author or not. Um, books are something that they're powerful forces in our lives. They teach us how to feel things and know things. And um, yeah, that it's a great gift to read and that we should all be grateful for the people in our lives that gave us this gift and give it to the next people as well, whether or not you're in fifth grade or you're 85 or whatever. Following her presentation, the librarians handed out awards in several categories. The award for best team name went to the Bean Burritos. The award for best costumes went to the Robo Readers. The team with the most team spirit was announced as the Reading rock stars. Coming in third place with 88 points were the Page Protectors. Finishing in second place with 90 points were Men in Books. And the winner of the 2024 Battle of the Books competition with a score of 94 points was Team Dragon Samurai. We were just really happy. I was shaking. How do you prepare for this contest? So basically our goal was just to read like every book and then we could have different views on all of the books and we could answer the questions. So 
most of us did all of the books. Um, like Ajit, he wrote, he wrote like, all of the books, and um, so now we had like different views on the books. So if someone said it was the answer was this book, and we knew it wasn't, then someone else could like prove that it wasn't. Yeah. Oh, I just read, 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 read. Like I just read all the books, so I would have like all the n- knowledge from them, so that I could like. Uh, help my teammates win the competition. What went through your head when they called out your name, the very last team? Oh my gosh! <laughs> did they just call our name? No way! We did it! Let's go! I am so happy right now. I was like, oh my gosh, and then I was like very like, oh no, and then I was also like, yay! We got first place! And it was all like mixed up like that. <laughs> so what would you say to fourth graders who are thinking about maybe doing this next year? Would you say do it or what? I'd say do it, but like if, it's, if like somebody else doesn't want to do it, don't give up, just keep doing it. Congratulations to the winning team and all those who participated at Lake Orion High School. This is Joe Johnson reporting for ONTV News.